Just finished the first set here at the Roxbury Pub and Grill. Uh, went pretty good. Yeah, I, success in my book. I, uh, we had a couple issues, but more, more on me. But anyway, um, issues. I don't have issues. So Davey is the leader of the band. He's the one that started the band. He's the one that has put everybody together. You know, I played with him for about three and a half years, and don't know a ton about his his background. Uh, when did you first start playing drums? Uh, young lad, about 13, 14 in there somewhere, and uh, basically started off on a couch with some butter knives listening to Highway to Hell. And kind of figured out the big thumpy things to your foot and kind of went from there and learned to count to four a lot. Uh, and why the drums? Well, long story short, my brother and I were both giving guitars as kids, and my dad want, my dad's a really good singer, guitar player, so he said, hey, good guys gotta learn guitar, and my brother took to it like a fish in water, and I took to it like a turd expert trying to pick it up. I just couldn't, I didn't like the feeling on my fingertips, I hated the blisters and all that. Not for me, right? Now, next thing I know, it's about a month later, and I'm going home from school, and then my brother's with all the kids in the neighborhood in our basement, and he's playing songs and singing with his brother. I got really jealous, and then I thought, well, you know what? I'm gonna, like, I gotta learn something, and I was that close to bass, and then I turned around and said, I don't know, I saw that Ringo Starr thing, like, a, you know, the old Beatle thing on uh, Ed Sullivan, and just watched his whole wow. body into this thing. Yeah, he used the loudest thing in the room. Amazing and how the Beatles influenced everybody, and Ed Sullivan in 64 is still influencing oh, yeah. musicians yeah. to this day. Yeah. Now, how, how tired are you after a show? Phys um, physically. 53 year old dummy like me, probably. Yeah, like kind of got the shit kicked out of me. So I'd be like, yeah, probably a good, a good day, and then you're sort of re like rested again. So all those people that think it's glamorous to be a drummer in a cover band, Davey packs all this shit up, then brings it in here, sets it up, plays for three hours, rips it all down, drives home, unloads, and sets it back up. And would be bad enough as one band, but he's got three bands going. So, uh, I don't know how you do it, buddy. Well, what it is is just passion and, you know, staying in good shape. How many bands have you been in your life? Uh, I'd probably be really off number-wise. I would think somewhere around 25. Okay, and and your biggest band? The biggest band was um, the Atomic Opera, which is an all-original band from Mississauga. And we got to do stuff like work with Jamie Stewart from The Cult. He came over and acted as a producer for at Metalworks for a short time, did some demos with him, uh, opened up for the Tea Party, or sorry, Tea Party opened up for us. And cool. Yeah, uh, then you call the Entex very first year they came out. That's impressive. Yeah, they blew our asses out of the water. <laughs> but I tell you, man, that we were we were a contender at least, right? That's good on the resume. Yeah, so Tea party open for. Yeah, it's probably the biggest band. Did they? The Alba Combo did like all kinds of big youth venues around Ontario. Uh, yeah, and then you know, uh, fortunately, our singer just couldn't keep going. So it happens. All right. I gotta go.